Well, this is all about paying homage. And when people start going up and doing their thing and you done fell off, people forget who put them on. Now, we all remember the interview where they asked Rick Ross about uh, what Trick Daddy is. Like, Trick Daddy said that you were a correction officer. You was a prison guard. And he was like, what? He said that? Oh, man, well, you know, you can't believe nothing. No, that ain't true. So he went and lied right on the spot. Of course, we all know better now, don't we? That that was 100% the case. But that's not what Trick did. That interview, that was like before Rick Ross even blew up, really. And when he was saying it, it wasn't like as a negative. You know, he should have, his media training, he was just so caught off guard by the question that all he could do was just deny it and then try to attack Trick's character. But Trick was more hurt by Trina because he put Trina on and got Trina popping and everything about Trina they didn't got popping through them and he was more upset that the fact that how she rolling with Ross and all of them which was cool but how in the world you gonna sit up there and say Jay-Z was your favorite rapper coming up it's like come on Trina don't lie you know it's like <laughs> Trick them was your favorite rappers you grew up listening to Luke and Trick and all of a sudden Jay-Z just because you now with them and all that oh Jay-Z was my favorite rapper growing up coming up in the game like you lying you front so that was his only issue with Trina was like don't front now that you done made it to this spot like you done, you trying to like forget everything that got you to where you are or got you to that point you know, like I, I gotta put some shine on Jay Z name so I can get some spotlight in the in the you know on the show because everybody had to talk about who inspired them and all of this stuff. And when she said Jay Z, he was like, "I almost crashed my car." <laughs> you know, people get disrespectful. They don't understand that these people that help pay the way. Like, I don't see what's the hurt. It's no problem in saying, hey, this dude looked out for me. Somebody believed in you. I mean, why wouldn't you want to give them they, they proper due? You know, so. That's just my opinion to it. But as far as going on Ross, listen to what Tricks had to say. Well, I'd like to apologize to all my fans, even the Rick Ross fans, for any for for any of this situation you're coming up because I know it's going to get bigger now because I'm saying something about it and it's not. And I, I read the blogs and I'd like to thank everybody for, for commending me on taking it like a man and knowing that I really have, you know, said the political correct, correct answer. And i also like to apologize for, for my kids misbehaving in class and, and on the radio and on these concerts because I raised the dance and I, 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 what happened was I let Raw start eating table food too fast. You know when you don't raise your kids they, they will they will they will throw their hands up at you. What what your mama say? Well, boy don't swell up at me and I, I, I just don't understand it. I was a big Ross fan. If you check all my interviews, mm -hmm. you check the web, radio, I never sneak this them. I always tell people I like Ross as an artist. When, when even when he was Willow, when he was Teflon Don, whatever he Ross wanted to be, I, I supported him. For him to, to try to assassinate my character, and then was the sad part about it, Angela, is that the first, when the first the picture correction officer the picture came out, mm -hmm. they said they, they about accused a week you. Later, I saw an interview. About a week later, I saw an interview. In the interview, the interview says, "So Ross, so Rick Ross, how do you feel about Trick Daddy calling you a prison guard? Time out. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way you went for that dumbass shit right there. Oh, he went for it. And, I mean, no, you want to know the sad part? The sad part is that interview is three years old. So now you do the math. Right. 
Then they leaked the rest of it. He's calling my family rats. And I come from a long line of real niggas, man. All you got to do is pull up my, use my social security number, use your social security number, print up everything you got on there. I owe more motherfuckers than he owe. <laughs> my credit worse than his. <laughs> everything you can pull up on my name is worse than his. I owe every motherfucking body. I've been arrested and convicted of more crimes than he's been pulled over and wrote the ticket for. Yeah. So when when did I have time to be a, 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 a pussy? When do you when do you use me as an example? I don't give a fuck who told you what. Don't mention my name in your raps, man. That's disrespectful, man. Yeah, I that thought that is, song Valley of Death. I thought it was life. I thought it was disrespectful for him to to say that you were lying. Not but, even that. Not even that. Am I yeah, your DVDs? A lot of them niggas in there. One of my niggas on there said he can't believe that he put him at the number that he put him at. He he let he labeled niggas. At, from a scale of one to ten, he brought he showed pictures of of, of, of dead bodies and mentioned people named that was that's trying to get out on the pill and trying to do better. Some of these people are saved now. Jeez. Some of these people have kids and some of these people have grandmothers and that, that died and mothers and their kids that don't even know about this and you wait and you don't do shit like that, man. So when is when is the last time you've spoken to, to him at all? Period. Man, the last time I spoke to Ross, actually, the last time I spoke to Ross was like. Three weeks ago, he was with Khaled, mm -hmm. and I had. A, but before that, I spoke to the time before that I spoke to Ross is when the interview came. They started putting out the uh, so Trick Daddy response to the Rick Ross response to Trick Daddy. Da, 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 da. So when he called me, I'm like, "Are you serious, nigga?" I'm like, "Can you read and comprehend? Are you really? Are you serious? Like, you call they? Oh, he called me with oh they saying that." They saying that, you know, saying you said it, that it's coming from you, you know. I say, Ross, who the fuck is they, nigga? He could have easily called you up and found out, right, himself. Right, I'm like, I'm like, who the fuck is they? I'm saying the media. I said, man, listen, man. The media. Man, go in the media, man. One time the media interested in Trick Daddy, man, when I get arrested give away these fucking toys for these kids and, and do these after school program and, and, and raise all this money for the, and help the community. They don't put that shit on the radio. I don't give I said, Ross, listen, I'm not interested in what no media got to tell you, man. I'm not interested in that. I say, so what are you saying? No, I'm just saying that Ross told me he just, if I, if I, uh, he's, he gonna have to stop at taking shots. Wow. So I said, okay, and hung up. We ended up back on the phone and I was like, Ross, man, let me explain something to you. You fell for that bullshit. He said, how I fell for it. I said, Ross, I'm looking at the YouTube where you responded to me supposedly had that said you was correction officer and I never said it. It's like, I see you responding and I'm still not going to respond. I'm like, Ross, next time I'm not going to let them fall for the trap. Well, I don't know what video I'm talking about. I say, Ross, now you're playing crazy. I say, I tell you what, I know what video I'm talking about. I'm going to eat this like a man, man. Let's let that shit go. Uh, Ross told me he's going to have to start taking shots. I said, what? Taking shots. Shots? I said, Ross, why you taking your shots? What the fuck you think I'm going to be doing, nigga? Working with E-Class. <laughs> I'm getting me, I'm, I'm going to get me some real money. I'm a real Miami nigga. I was born and raised in Miami. I'm not moving to no fucking where. I'm not going nowhere. My, my studio was in Cash City for three years, the whole three years that 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 uh, that um that player hating shit was going on. It's like, listen, man. Niggas doing songs about the, the, the 48 powers of law, they must can't read and comprehend, man. Don't, you can't outshine the master, nigga. <laughs> Never outshine the master. <laughs> it's in the book. I know, that's definitely one of the laws. Well, yeah, it's in the book, it's like, it's in the book. And through all that, baby, and, and through all that, I don't care if you get a job. I don't care if you a drug dealer. I don't care if you're a jack boy. Man, I won't, it won't matter unless it affects me. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you disrespect. Just don't disrespect me. Respect my mind. You know what I'm saying? When Ross came out, I was happy for Ross. I went and bought 10 of his first CDs. You know what? When you have the wrong people around you, they're going to tell you, oh, with Ross the new mayor, then you go to stand in your I'm the mayor and I'm the, that's disrespectful, but I'm a grown man and I, and I let that slide. You know, sometimes your kids suck their teeth. You want to slap their ass down, but you let them, you let them, you let them slide like you want them. Like, I got owe you one now. I'm going to let you slide, but I, like, I owe you one. So, and that's the problem with it. The problem is police, snitches, niggas use 911. Your kids use 911 against you. 
And like I said, at the beginning of this, I would like to apologize for not raising my son properly, but I have new rules. What's the new I'm rules? I'm going back to the old ass whooping days. Wow. I'm whooping all my kids at <laughs> HR Rent and whoever else, your freak ass, cocktail, whoever you want to send. I'm going to have to start beating my kids' ass for disobeying me. And, and we have to, and, and everybody as parents have to stick together. A lot of niggas that's listening, if you got niggas that you have raised and taught everything and they being disobedient, you probably need to beat their ass. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's. That's how, you know, Trick broke it down. You see a lot of dick sucking haters out there. I'm coming for you niggas. Niggas pussies. Greg Ross, 305 in my ear, you'll fuck what you heard, nigga. I'm gonna bring it to your face. Get some money, the multi million dollar made by the mayor. Like I said, Rick Ross with a rich nuzzle. How you want it? Black on black or white on white? We just leaving the studio, nigga. We ain't even know cameras was coming. That's how it does. It's the boss. Like I said, in my yayo, the movie coming, niggas don't like it, they can suck a dick. Jay Z, what it do, my nigga? E Class, what it do, poor boy? You already know, sticks on deck. 50 rounds are better in the Maybach. Come get it, Rick Rizzo. Tell these people about the real Miami, man, not the shit on TV. You already know, the man. This is my yayo, the cocaine capital. We got the movie coming. Fuck talking about it. We do talking about it. Now we got the movie coming. And my yayo, nigga. Understand we finna get more millions. Man, because we got 10 million. Why you gonna feel when we get 50, you fucking imbecile? Niggas been wasting time. Now you ain't fucking with a nigga with a real appetite. Coming from the real Miami where millions were nothing to be made. Shout out to Kenneth Ruby Williams, nigga. Shout out to motherfucking everybody from the crib. Everybody calls himself the king, Rick, king of New York, king of the south. Rick is the boss. How did that come about, man? Why are you the boss? I just do my thing, nigga. Triple C feeding families, you know? Honestly, that's what we do. You'll find out why later. We ain't got time to be explaining you pussies. That's night at Cali's show. You know that dude made that comment, man. What dude? That guy Trick Daddy, man. Said he's the real mayor of Dade and all other rappers in MIA are his protégés. You think he ain't that at you? I'm, I don't know what he... How can you? I'm the boss. I'm a millionaire. You know what I'm talking about? And, um... Dogs just need to get money, you know? Promote your project, you know? Cause I'm bigger than just the mayor of Miami. I'm a boss of the game. I'm a mogul. I'm putting out movies and all that. So I suggest niggas do that, you know? Get money instead of being broke. Try something new for once. The boss said it. It's time to start really, you know, doing what you're about. If you about getting money, like I say, let's do it. If you're a thug and a killer, start killing. Start thugging. Stop getting poked around. Triple C's, man. 305 in my yayo, nigga. We right here, man. We run this, man. Niggas, jealousy and envy and all that. It can consume you. But don't. Stay focused. Get money. I'm three million up in ten months. Get your fucking money, man. <laughs> you know, I'm in the White House. The it's next thing on the album. It's roll. The next thing. <laughs> oh man. So. So basically, some real heads like E Class had to get them to sit down and and have a conversation. Cause due to all the fronting that they was trying to pull out, Rick Ross put out a video uh, talking about 
trick daddies, a snitch, and all kind of craziness. So E class set it up where they can sit down and they can have a talk. Because he tried to have a little event and out there in Miami. And some of the trick people was in there. And then they was finna have a conversation. Then it turned into a pushing and shoving affair. Where people were about to get shot. You know, some two other people getting into it based off the beef between Trick and Rick Ross. You know, there's people over there that Rick messed with. There's some real dudes, but they also know Trick. And and they dudes, and dudes like, man, they ain't riding. You know, these dudes are riding with Trick to the end. You know, they old school vets. And they don't take all this mouth and disrespect to, you know, to heart. So you got people about to lose their lives because these two dudes can't get along. So E class set it up when they could squash this thing where nobody's talking about either side. Like it's dead, nobody's taking no shots. Like let it be over with. So that's what ended up happening, you know. And I'm out.